Adarius, do you have a Cutty Corner shout out? Yeah, I'll go. You know, usually my it's funny because my Cutty Corner shout outs are usually uh, rooted in pop culture or my hate for Jared. But today I actually got one that's pretty topical and on brand with the sports team. My Cutty Quarter shout out this week goes to Coach K, who um, I think, you know, and, and not even think, I know he has a, a deep rooted legacy, man. I know, I know, I get it, right? But the way this nigga is having a farewell tour, you would have thought that nigga was Prince, nigga. Like every fucking sports channel has a Coach K storyline, has a, has a, uh, nigga, I got, I got coached by Coach K. When I played for Duke in 88, like, nigga, nobody cares about you. Like, what the fuck? Where are all these interviews coming from? And it just seems like a lot for a white coach who's uh, marginally successful at best. Yeah, I hate Co- Coach K, so fuck oh, him. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's real interesting out here, man. We got Duke, UNC next week. I'm in Tobacco Road right now. UNC um, beat St. Peter's? <laughs> yeah, man, <laughs> by a lot. It wasn't even close. <laughs> It wasn't close but, at the ooh. point. It was like 19 at halftime and got bigger after that. By a lot. Now, I will just say, as as a local here in the in the triangle, I will say that Duke has been catching a lot of shit in the trash talking department after they lost Coach K's last game at Cameron. Um, that was the that is the feather in the cap. Like you can't <laughs> take you out. Send up a revenge game right now. It's the revenge <laughs> game. Gonna be and the only game. thing that's gonna that wipe that clean is beating them in the final four. Uh, so tensions are high ra- around here. Coach K does not deserve to have a fair tale ending. I hope they lose. <laughs> Why does he deserve it, Jerry? Well, I don't understand this hatred. Wait, did, hey, did you watch? Uh, well, did you watch? Uh, what the Bobani Jones show on HBO? I tried to, Brandon, but the shit. Sucked. You didn't finish the Coach Let's K thing. I told it you, you need to finish that part. That, that shit the sucked. <laughs> that shit sucked. No, so it, it, it started good. bad. No, the, the 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 Duke thing was pretty funny though. It was good. He even had, he got Jalen Rose to come in and be be a For part sure. of it. It was a good skit. Right. I, I would just say, you watch the show. Don't even watch the show. Just Aaron watched the, watch the first two. Watch the first two segments. Give, were, which were give him bad. the straight. We need more black shows. They closed the Black News Network this week. They just shut it down. Omir Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, who owned the Black News Network, whatever, should shut it down this week. Apparently, they couldn't make payroll. We need more black shows, Aaron. <laughs> okay. Black Khan is sucked, man, him, but we can't have him suck, though. Give him the strength. <laughs> first of all, there's there's no show that's great the first two episodes. You just got to say, is yes, there, there, are. Are, are, yes, are there, there bones? Are. Future Rollins, what... number one episode. Great. But what I'm saying is, it's very hard to Friends get it right the first time. So Let's oh, support no, it. Oh, the the show is like 20 some years old. The first ever <laughs> show. Great. Come, come out, Aaron. How are you arguing for Futurama, nigga? Are, you just argued for a song that came out in 1998, nigga. And now you're arguing about Futurama? Are you <laughs> That song stuck came out in 96. Okay, well, that's even crazier. You're like, you said a few years ago. Do you know that? Do you know you said a few years ago Jay-Z put out this song? Like, nigga, you got to fast forward. You are missing decades. Decades, my nigga. I, I'm arguing because he, the younger generation ain't going to know. This show fucking suck. I'm going to watch episode two. Is it out yet? I'm going to watch this shit. You, 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 you got to finish, on pause, my nigga. You gotta finish the Coach K thing. Coach it's K. hard. Look, look, Jared, you like watching shitty. So I was on your Netflix the other day, and I realized something. There's a bunch of shitty movies on Netflix. It's almost 90% that. I can find shit. To, I've been watching nothing but Korean shows on Netflix because ain't shit else is good. <laughs> And then I'm like, God damn, this shit is. That's awful. not why you've been watching Korean shows. You're watching That's Korean part shows. of the reason. That's part <laughs> of the reason. That's part of the reason I'm watching. The See, thank Korean you, Darius. Which Korean actress actually it's shows part of the reason? It's a movie. It's like 1% Kim. of the reason. He's like, man, I guess there ain't nothing else I can watch. you going to make me watch this. So the titty. Show the titty in this, in this independent film I saw. Just fast forward to the 38 13 mark. What well, I'm saying <laughs> is that Jared, Jared could watch his way through bad shit. I have a hard time doing it. Uh, I, don't know. I have a hard Aaron, time I, watching I, I can, this. Aaron, I can't sit there and watch this terrible. Dawson's Creek. <laughs> yep. He's like, I watch every sit episode. There watch this terrible thing. I got to beat off, man. I can't just sit here to nothing. I got to watch it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so, so 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 you agree with Bamani Jones and what he said about I know what he said about Coach K. You agree with him, Brandon? No, I, th- I think it was in- it's interesting perspective. Just thinking about recruiting back in the eighties and early nineties, right? 
just yeah. how it was so so different and then that's when back in that back in those times or whatever that's when tv really started to focus in on college basketball in a way that yeah that it hadn't before because the same thing same time that michael jordan started to become really popular and basketball became really popular in general it was duke unc and nc told, state at the time yeah i told aaron he needs but, to watch the game he didn't watch that part but they did like some uh they had a scandal or whatever like maybe two years before they get signed their TV contracts. So they sucked. And so now everybody thinks it's a Duke-UNC rivalry. No, but I think it, there's a lot of validity to what uh, what he was saying about Coach K, not necessarily recruiting black players or black he players. He recruited from, black players from, 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 from the uh, hood. From, yes. from the, Let's be real, man. Duke is a hard institute. They weren't, a lot of them weren't going to make it through there from the hood. Yeah. You had, no, no. If you're from the hood, you had schools that recruited you. Georgetown, UNLV, St. John's. They recruited you, dude. We act like well, Coach K didn't repeat these dudes, so now these dudes out there slanging crack. No, no, man. but here's the no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They're good basketball players. They're good ba- black basketball players. They're good black basketball players who are also smart and pass the classes. They just never try and gave them the shot to do it. And somehow, much like much like much like Bill Bill Belichick, somehow finds an all white offensive line every year. He somehow <laughs> found five, I mean, six or five. Hard to do. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, not hard so to do Aaron an all white offensive line, right? Now, saying. now, if Bill Belichick had all white wide receivers, then I'll be like, okay, he did have that. <laughs> he did have that. No, nah, he nah, he's easy. always had one. He's, he's always had. He's one. always had one nigga on down on the. No, he's track. always had one white wide receiver. He's never had multiple. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what he no, had no, he, no, he had, no, no, he had, he had Edelman and Hogan. Yeah, he had a Chris and, yeah, Hogan didn't play. <laughs> yes, he did. But Hogan <laughs> was the fourth. The other two wide receivers were black, man. The, uh, uh, older, older. No, I mean, look, I mean, that's I, like I the, Rams. the Rams got two white wide receivers. One of them fucking sucks. One's great, one sucks. But I'll tell you this if Bill Belichick was to find two, uh, all white cornerbacks, then you say this motherfucker <laughs> racist, right? I don't know how this motherfucker got all white cornerbacks. He'll also be out the league real quick, too. Right. <laughs> Man, I, I just think he recruited the players that he said were going to be successful. He didn't want to have to put a lot of time and effort into, like, making well, uh, sure they're and in a, class uh, and shit like that. A big part see, of it. And see, and that's, and see, see, Jerry's I have no talk. problem with that, though. No, no, Aaron's, it, ta- Aaron's talking about it like they weren't going to show up to class. Like, these dudes, like, you got to get no, me No, I didn't like, say they wasn't. Academic, I said he didn't want to eligible. have to be worried about those things. And he wanted things, guys right? that came from these backgrounds, the education. He also wanted them to stay four years. That was his big thing. He wanted them to stay. He had, he had a system in place, and he didn't want to have to keep adding and, and having to recruit every year. If anything, he's a hypocrite because he went to the one and done at the bitching about it. I 100% agree. But as far as his recruitment, look, I was, that was, I was Mr. College Basketball back then in the 90s. I'll tell you this, in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, I had no problem with how Coach K recruited. I wasn't a Duke fan, but I had no problem with that. My big, Like I said, for me, the biggest problem was Allen Iverson striking out John Thompson's 100, uh, 100% graduation rate. That's a bigger issue. We're looking at Coach K issue. We're looking like outside instead of looking inside what's going It's like people in the hood. Like, hey, man, man, those white people in Fremont fucking us up and Piedmont fucking us up over here. Aaron over here talking about. People want to ask me all the time why I'm running. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of them wanting to teach CTR in in school. (laughs) Critical race theory. Can you tell me what that (laughs) means? That is not Aaron, me, I'm sick and tired of you talking about Coach K, bad. Yeah, no, you know, no, my thing no, is Aaron, he, Aaron, Aaron, he recruited black you, players. No, no, no. You guys but, weren't even watching college no, basketball then. I was. He no, had no, no. Black here's the thing. You're looking at it from a lens that is different than like, yeah, you can be all into basketball. It was also how these how these colleges were presented in the media. And that's part of what shaped. Yeah, the, like, that's yeah. So that, that's, that's why I said it. I didn't like Duke either. No, I didn't like Duke either. And so and, they were presented but, but like the Boston Celtics. But, but as much as you can like cut through a lot of the shit, you still can't cut through the, cut through the fact that it was still presented that way. And there was teams that were vilified and demonized. But that's for being the media. That's black. not Coach K. But that's it's, the it's media. Part, it's, but it's part of the same media Nobody. that propped him up, Aaron. That's the point. So like, why do we? Sh- why should we give? He was a good coach. About this dude? He was decent. He was okay. He was okay. He was. I mean, he's not to me. So, he's not so the he, best he, coach. I, I, I'll take Dean Smith titles, over him. A couple of his titles he won because either the refs were cheating or the play, other team was on take. You decide, Aaron. On take, you, okay. I agree. So, on the so, take. So he's not I don't good. think he's the best, but this is what we do in college. We do celebrate people when they're deserve. about to retire. 
he, he deserves it. Deserve it. He's been along for a long time. John yeah. Thompson deserved it. They all do. John Taney deserved it. Deserve it, nigga. Yeah. First of all, who's the coach of Penn State? He was there for a very long time as well. Yeah, but he he <laughs> fucked up. He would have got the same shit. He also took a lot of motherfuckers off the street. The problem yeah, is, Sam Dusty took a lot of people off the streets too. No, he, t- oh. <laughs> he took a lot of people into the bathhouses. He's the guy to the shower. To the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take you out the street. You come take a shower. You know, come take a shower with me. <laughs> I'll get yeah, you that cool. was the problem. He ruined his legacy with that. But I mean, this is what we do in college, man. We celebrate the coaches that's been around and I don't see them giving them no. You know what? If you want to blame anybody, blame your boy Kobe. Your boy Kobe was the one that blows up. That's when Mike Krzyzewski really got blown up. Because before that, before Kobe just started going off and wanted him as the Olympic coach and then wanted him as a Laker coach, we saw him as being equal to Dean Smith and, and, and a lot of these other coaches. I mean, John Wooden is still the best coach of all time. He got the most titles and dominated, but we still saw Coach K being under that until Kobe was the one that blew it up to the media. One, he worked hard trying to get nah, Coach Mike K was already to big. To, nah, to, not as big already, as Kobe made him. No, you guys don't no. want to blame Kobe. No, I'm not blaming Kobe because Kobe didn't make him big. He was, he was. You dude, me, suck Kobe dick if he asked you to. You suck Coach K's dick if he asked you to. I surely <laughs> fuck would not. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is Pee Wee Herman's doppelganger. He was like the star. I was like, when did Pee Wee Herman start coaching basketball? This is my shaping of the sports world watching media as a kid. And I noticed a stark difference. So you can't change the way it imprinted and showed me the stark difference between certain colleges and certain teams and the certain demographics that were expected to be in certain places. And that's all reinforcing the whole differences of America. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need this thing that this then you should stop keep watching talking sports about. This God country. I'm going to tell you the same thing. People want to ask me all the time why I'm running. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of them want to teach CTR in, in school. Critical race theory. Can you tell me what that means? I can't, I can't trust no nigga who say school with two W's. In school. School. <laughs> this is how you spell school. S-K-O-O-W. <laughs> in school. <laughs> what they oh, teach you in school. And the school. In the school. In school. In the school. Niggas in the school. Oh, man. 